There we are, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. It's Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, the 28th of February, 2010. It's one more day in the world, and we're still above dirt. I want to let you know it's starting to freeze here in Arkansas and around the world in different places. The weather is just as bad or, you know, coming in uh, a little problems out there, ladies and gentlemen. I want to let you know that... Uh, I want to welcome uh, uh, several new stations to the show today, uh, to all my fellow Marines around the world, especially my friends in Simmerfold, Russia, Sochi, Russia, Kassan, Russia, the six counties of Northern Ireland, the North Island of Scotland, to the South Island of New Zealand, to Highway 8 uh, in New Zealand. Welcome to the show, to the, the outback territories of Australia, to my new friends uh, that have uh, come to the show from Iwakuni, Japan, Semper Fi. To my old friends in Butler Base, Hawaii, Semper Fi. To all my Marines around the world, in every clime, in every place, welcome to the show. We have a great show on Thursdays, as we always do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today uh, we are going to uh, discuss some facts out there, and you're not going to believe that right out there on the radio, many of you know how I feel about the Illuminati. Many of you feel know how I feel about the people behind the scenes controlling our lives and the hatred that I have for people that want to tell me how to live my life and give away uh, the, uh, the fruits of the labor of the American people to people that don't work right here in the United States of America. It is atrocious of the welfare that's being given away to people that are have the skills, but what is their what is their primary skills? Robbery, rape, breaking and entering, bullying people on the side of the streets. I was sickened to find in a, in the town in which I joined the United States Marine Corps, New Orleans, Louisiana, that uh, a man is buried being buried today. 25 years old, 25, two sons, five daughters, seven sisters, 12 nieces and nephews, and they list him as an entrepreneur. I almost fell over, and then I realized he's an entrepreneur, all right? He's, he's not even married. He's shacking up with a woman who's had seven kids, and they're collecting welfare, living in a government project where they pay $50 a month rent, according to the information in the address that was listed in the obituary. He's an entrepreneur drawing $3,500 a month in welfare assistance. That's an entrepreneur, all right shot and killed, breaking and entering into another house over on uh, Avenue uh, Lapu. Okay, well, he got he, he found out that the people on the Avenue Lapu, had, they, they don't put up with people that are breaking and entering at 2 o'clock in the morning, especially when the, the man that owns the house had three daughters of his own, and he was afraid of their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, we got a problem out there. And it's all about what's going on in Washington, D.C. Many of you have heard our, our illustrious leader on Thursdays, Mr. Bob Chapman, the international forecaster, tell you that they're all a bunch of criminals. I, and I've told it. Bob, Bob is not alone. I will tell you right up front. It's shouted on this show, on this network, Wind Talkers Radio Network, every day, six days a week, I know of, personally. There are other radio networks out there that shout the truth about the Illuminati. And now, just yesterday, Mr. Kramer from the mainstream media admits there's Illuminati. But in this, what I'm going to play before we bring Mr. Chapman on, I want to let you all know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very disgusted over the fact that Mr. Kramer thinks that Geithner is one of the good guys. Geithner's not one of the good guys. He's the one that's been promoting all those people over Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, ladies and gentlemen, your money bailed out Goldman Sachs when they were when they were killing themselves with their greed, and now they're going to be doing more greed to each other. Listen to this: the admission that the Illuminati exists. 
play it, Larissa, please. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. There's a story about, about AIG and Goldman. They never talk about how much AIG billed out the European banks. This is uniquely focused on what the New York Times reported. All these guys want to score points. Tim Geithner is doing a good job. Again, is that terrible to say? Can't we just come out here occasionally? Can't I, as a commentator, and say, you know what? I'm yeah. impressed by what Geithner Look at a bodyguard. I already have one. <laughs> and, um, I feel strongly that Geithner... Uh, it, this is AIG, AIG, Goldman, Goldman, and you know what? The Bavarian Illuminati, the Trilateral Commission, Goldman Sachs, and the Queen of England are not all bad. Wow. Are we going to believe a couple of things? Well, I, he said it. He said they weren't all bad. I believe they are. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what do you think? Without question. Welcome to, welcome to the show. <laughs> I should give you a welcome first, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, that's okay. It's been a long time. And uh, it uh, it is very significant that they would uh, admit that. And uh, I don't think he wanted to go there, but he's a motor mouth, and he just didn't think. And uh, that will cost him his life, probably, at least his job. And uh, they can't have public exposure like that. And uh, I've been saying the same thing for 50 years and uh, finally, it's become national news because of what we've done over that period of time. A small group of us that evolved into radio and also into television for a long time, and uh, and then through periodicals like the International Forecaster, uh, we're winning this. We are winning this. We've got to stop these people, and we are going to stop them. We're going to stop them from having all their make-believe wars so they can get rid of people. We're going to stop them from looting us and trying to turn what we have into a one-world government. And uh, this thing is going to come to a head over the next few years, and it's not going to be nice. Understood. 100%. And, and did you notice at the beginning of the clip, just you know, maybe 15 seconds into it, he said he had his bodyguards? Right, and uh, they all are carrying weapons. And around that building in New York City, they have uh, special police and uh, bomb-sniffing dogs, the whole works. So they know that we know out here what they're doing, and they're in fear of their lives. And quite frankly, they should be. They're being shielded by people who are high, prominent places who have been bought off by this Illuminati. And uh, there'll be a day of reckoning. They're not going to escape it. And it's not going to be too long. And there's going to be great changes in America. And uh, I hope it's bloodless, but I don't think it will be. I understood that. Um, if, you, uh, if you get a chance, when you get a few moments, I, I, I will give you some inside information that I'm not allowed to discuss over the air, uh, and it will probably give you a little cheer to your heart uh, from what I know uh, and along those lines. Uh, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, i tell you about it, but uh, there's not enough. There, there's uh, there's uh, people's lives are uh, at stake with uh, this little tidbit of information because there's not enough of these men doing their job uh, at this these particular places. But I will tell you this much, Bob, you're right. They're, they're, these guys, when they head to town and they get to the end of the, into New York City, they begin. it's like they're scared to death that there's going to be some loose cannon uh, approach with a submachine gun and knock them off, and they do everything they can to... Uh, to not go in, get out of the, their bulletproof cars and go inside uh, different buildings in uh, in uh, New York City without, uh, with, you know, in, in a group. They will they'll sit in their bulletproof cars and let somebody else walk out there first, and then they'll walk over. And it's like a cold sweat that comes over them, according to this individual that informed me. So, uh, with all of that said. Yeah, what did you? I almost threw up when uh, this guy said that Tim Geithner was a good guy. So let our let our audience know what you think about Tim Geithner. Well, Tim uh, worked for Goldman Sachs, worked for the government, 
work for the Federal Reserve, which is privately owned, and uh, try to tell everybody that uh, the Federal Reserve re works for the government uh, when, in fact, they don't. Uh, he's a, a sociopathic liar. Uh, he's arrogant. If you saw him in the hear hearings, uh, he has no remorse whatsoever uh, for what he's done and uh, what he's allowed to be done. And the same with Paulson, although I will say that Paulson, for the second time under interrogation, came unglued. He can't handle uh, the mental interrogation at all. And uh, that's because he's not that swift.